This is Russ Burlingame for Comic Related. We're here at the New York Comic Con 2009 with Stephen Baldwin. Uh, he's a filmmaker, actor, and the... Uh, uh, extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Yeah. And the writer of The Remnant uh, for Boom Studios. Why don't you tell us a little bit... Uh, we actually uh, we spoke to uh, uh, Caleb earlier today. Right. He's the writer. So. Um, uh, myself and Andrew Cosby, uh, we are both the co-creators of the idea for Remnant that was then later fleshed out in a much greater way by Caleb. Uh, we have our two wonderful artists, you know, as Azetta is doing our covers. Uh, it's just been uh, over the moon beyond uh, any uh, gratification I could ever have as far as doing something creative that was really cool and different and unique. Uh, Boom Studios is rocking. So um, The Remnant is uh, our own kind of spooky, uh, we call it the Supernatural 24. Um, it was originally an idea I had for a TV show that I brought to Andy Cosby as the creator of uh, Eureka on the Sci-Fi Channel. I thought that maybe we could do something together. Uh, but when I told him the story of Remnant, we collectively agreed that it probably would be a much cooler a comic book first. So here we are. Now, uh, because of Eureka's relationship with Boom, is that how you guys ended up landing here? Um, yeah, kind of, sort of. I mean, my initial meeting was with... Ross Ritchie from Boom and with Andrew Cosby and it was really just kind of a more casual thing just how do we you know Baldwin's got some ideas and you know let's make a TV show and when I mapped it all out when I laid out what the story initially for Remnant was uh, Cosby just freaked he was just like no 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 dude like it could go here it could go there it could you know and uh, we said let's not rush it and start it as a comic book and then take it from there. And uh, one of the upsides, obviously, with a comic is production uh, production costs stay low. So uh, you can, do you have a, a long-term plan, and do you know how, how long you're looking to run the comic? Um, well, you know, 2009 will just be the first four episodes of The Remnant, uh, which the comic book will later become uh, a graphic novel. Uh, and we'll have the ability to flesh out the story even more then. From there, it could easily become a television series or a series of novels or even go to the big screen as feature films. Um, what's cool about this process is, is it allows us to kind of lay out the story and storyboard it in a comic book form as we continue to think about new directions for the future. Now, one of the interesting things that's going on with something like The Remnant is that uh, like Je you look at Jeff Katz, who does a lot of horror comics for Dynamite, Right now, he's doing stories that uh, he did not pitch to movie studios when he was a movie executive, right. and he's creating original properties for comics and immediately turning them around and selling them to the same movie studios where he used to work. <laughs> is that kind of what you're looking at here, where it's like, it just makes it easier to have something in hand and just go to them and be like, look, this is how it works? Well, that, that, you know, within the industry of both, you know, film, television, or any, you know, uh, publishing, uh, I think starting in this way kind of lends more to that process in a greater way. That's not our goal, and I know that sounds like whatever. It's just, I'm being honest with you, it's like the process of pitching TV shows and writing the scripts and all that, it sucks. It really is, it's a crappy, creatively, it, it doesn't allow you to like enjoy it, in my opinion, as much as this process. This process is like, hey, here's the idea, now we're seeing it. You know, now we're moving it forward, improving on it. Um, so I think that the future of potentially that process of the comic book to graphic novel to whatever other medium, uh, I think is one that's going to down the road create for higher quality stuff because it's more well thought out. And uh, obviously as somebody who's, who's dealt a lot in film and in TV and Hollywood, uh, you can kind of speak to how much easier is it to just kind of have a concept and then six months later have a book in hand as opposed to in six months still be looking for your lead actor. Uh, again, as long as you can um, align yourself with creative people that are down with what you're doing, you know what I mean? I was very fortunate that the Boom guys were somebody I could just, you know, you know there wasn't a lot of uh, disagreement, you know. Okay, Stephen, we're going to get... Paul Azzetta to do the covers. Uh, okay, you know, <laughs> you know, we just had a great group of people come together very quickly that dug the story. Uh, I have a new concept that I'm creating right now with with uh, Andrew and, and Ross as a result of this. Uh, that's a, a super creepy, dark kind of idea, which y'all will be hearing about. Um, but but 
exactly what you just said is the case, you know what I mean? Which is, uh, it's just when you when the synergy's there and it works, you know, it could really be far more creatively gratifying than anything else. And uh, one, one question that I had, simply because, uh, you know, this relates to end times, obviously you're, you're a well-known evangelical, uh, how, how do you balance kind of the, the feeling that you should be uh, having a, a kind of true depiction of end times versus just making sure you're telling a good story and that it's entertaining? Well, I think that, you know, the fun for myself and Cosby and the whole creative team with The Remnant has been, you know, we're not calling this, this isn't a Christian comic book. You know, uh, as we said, it, it, it's, it's like a Supernatural 24. And, and if you're hip enough to know enough biblical storyline, you know, you're going to see the layers that we put in there. I, I don't think, listen, it's, it's, it's not uh, the goal or the purpose of Remnant to, as a comic book, to uh, proselytize anyone. That's not the goal. Uh, well, you know, if somebody turns around and goes, you know what, this has some Christian undertones and it's freaking cool, amen. That's what we're looking for. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's about time that content related to Christianity come out that was unafraid to go there, but at the same time uh, unafraid to, you know, not be uh, edgy and, and, and hardcore. And uh, to that extent, uh, one one question I'd have here at Boom: uh, Have you dealt with Mark Wade a lot? Because obviously, uh, if, you, if you're looking at a, a comic book that has Christian undertones without beating you over the head, Kingdom Come probably has to be one of the best examples of the last 20 years. And he was the writer of that. Uh, do you deal directly with him in any way? Nope, no, not yet. We're I'm just kind of creating our own brand here. Uh, I really, you know, Ross Ritchie has been instrumental. He's a he's a pretty laid back but still very very committed Christian um, and again you know it's not about having to wear it on your sleeve now me Stephen Baldwin has a different calling you know in, in what I do I do ministry I do movies in Hollywood you know I'm developing a TV show that's my own reality show with Mark Burnett right now from Apprentice and Survivor and you know so I'm still doing the things that I've always done uh, just trying not to do all that stuff that has too much gnarly content you know that's that's gratuitous you know um, but for me, it's, it's kind of nice that I can, you know, dip my toe into multiple waters here creatively. You know what I mean? It's kind of fun. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Stephen. Thank you. And again, uh, the remnant from Boom Studios. Uh, it's uh, everything, everything that I've seen so far is, looks really good. Uh, Caleb was very, very articulate in getting into the nuts and bolts of the storylines, part of why we talked so much about the publishing with you. So, all right, thanks very cool much. Artwork, huh? Absolutely. Thanks a lot.